This is Rugby Merlin and welcome back to the channel. So the round of 16 is over. Uh, let's uh, round up the results and then uh, get into some predictions for the quarterfinals. So first up we have Harlequins versus Glasgow. Now I did pick Glasgow for this one. They were my uh, dark horse. I, I thought they might get a uh, victory uh, down in the stoop. Uh, which is a great place to go if you've never been there. Um, yeah, but uh, Harlequins fair play, they got their first uh, knockout uh, round victory uh, in the European Cup or whatever it's going to be known as in the future. And uh, yeah, uh, Marcus Smith played a prominent part. He's, uh, he's on fire at the moment and they're playing really well since he's come back from injury. So he's going to be forced to, reckon, uh, to be reckoned with in the quarterfinals. Then the Bulls played uh, Lyon at home. Uh, Bulls in the first half absolutely ran out uh, into an almost insurmountable uh, lead. And uh, yeah, it was tough for Lyon and uh, they had a very bad day. And ended up being, uh, I think, like 39-19. So uh, yeah, a comfortable win for the Bulls. Um, so they go through to the quarterfinals. Then we have our extra bath. Um, I did pick extra for that one, but it was a very close game, uh, a local a kind of local derby bath and extra actually pretty near each other. And um, uh, extra have an extremely young team, and uh, it was a big win for them because uh, they have won the uh, the cup before, but uh, with a very different kind of. Uh, very different look inside. Uh, they're all youngsters now, all uh, a bunch of young English boys and a young Welsh uh, contingent there. So, um, yeah, uh, I think uh, Exeter did really well to get through that match. Um, Finn Russell went off early, injured, uh, which probably uh, benefited Exeter a lot. But uh, they're a hard-working side and uh, they're through the, the quarters too. Then uh, Stormers and La Rochelle, I actually did a review of that one, so I watched that one live. And uh, it was a very dramatic match, as was their last one. And this time La Rochelle came out on top. Um, they didn't play well and uh, Stormers really, like I felt like they were the better, better team on the day. But uh, La Rochelle is a kind of team you just can't seem to count out when it comes to this competition. Uh, they, they, they are the holders, and um, yeah, they go through to the quarters too. Um, Leinster, Leicester, Leicester played well, you know, uh, over in the the Riva, over in Dublin, but uh, Leinster had just too much for them. Uh, they were too too strong. They had uh, too many uh, good players in in key positions, and uh, uh, Jameson Gibson Park got a hat trick, and uh, yeah, showed his class. Uh, so uh, Leinster, although Leicester did trouble them at times, um, they they powered through and uh, beat uh, Leicester 36-22. And uh, Northampton and Munster, I uh, did pick on Northampton and um, uh, Munster, I think, will really rue the fact that they, they didn't get a win um, over Northampton in the, in the round of 16 could have easily done so um, some of their players were excellent um, but just on the day I think uh, playing at home that home advantage is such a crucial factor as I've mentioned several times before um, and uh, but Munster it was there for the taking for them and I think they really regret losing that one um, it was 24-14. Um, Toulouse, on the other hand, absolutely stomped racing in the second half. It was pretty close uh, going into halftime, but Toulouse just ground them into dust in the second half and uh, finished 31-7. So Toulouse threw. Uh, Bordeaux absolutely smashed Saracens. And uh, yeah, um, it was their biggest ever European defeat. So not a good look for uh, Saracens there. So getting on to the quarterfinals, and they are Bordeaux versus Harlequins. Now Bordeaux are, are at home. Um, Harlequins can feel a bit hard done by, by by that. They would have liked to play played at home, but uh, going over to France, tough ask. Uh, Bordeaux look good. Um, they they the wingers are f like fully firing on nineteen cylinders. Uh, so, uh, but um, they do have Marcus Smith, so he's uh, he's kind of the joker in the box, the game changer. So yeah, they could do something, but you'd have to go Bordeaux with a home advantage. 
uh, Leinster La Rochelle. Now that one I will be watching because that's a repeat of a repeat of a repeat. They <laughs> seem to pl always play themselves. This time it's not in the final, uh, but uh, Leinster are at home. Um, La Rochelle did turn them over at home. But uh, that's going to be really interesting to watch. La Rochelle definitely weren't at their best against the Stormers. But uh, Leinster probably would say the same, uh, that they weren't at their best. But they still pumped Leicester for like 36 points. So uh, that's going to be a fantastic game. Um, Northampton versus the Bulls. Bulls have to travel up to Northampton for that one. So it's going to be uh, tough for them. But uh, they could uh, definitely feasibly get a win there. Um, it's going to be a very tight match, I think. Um, to lose Exeter, you'd have to say Exeter. If they were playing at home at uh, Sandy Park, I think the, the home ground was called down in Exeter, then you'd give them a better chance. But uh, Toulouse is looking very strong at the moment, so Toulouse for that one. So uh, my final predictions are Bordeaux. Um, I'm going to go Leinster even though that's going to be a big match. And uh, I'll take the Bulls as my only away win this uh, quarterfinal. And uh, I'll take Toulouse at home. Uh, so, yeah, uh, those are my predictions for the quarterfinals. It's going to be a great weekend of rugby. I also might do a video on uh, the Champions, um, not the Champions, the uh, Challenge Cup. Because the Ospreys are still in it. They beat Sale uh, last weekend. So uh, might give the, that tournament uh, or that cup a little bit of shine. Um, uh, let me know what you think uh, will be the results of the quarterfinals this weekend. And uh, yeah, check out the next video. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.